Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Eagle Moss Back to the Future DeLorean. I received pack 25 or 26, it's around that, with stages 47, 48, 49, and 50. This has to be probably the most difficult stage for most people because it is all the wiring and the wire bundles and wiring up all the coils and relays that are found on the dash. So you just be patient. It's very hard to film this because uh, a lot of these parts are so small and the wires are so small. But in this video, I will be featuring stage 47. So stage 47 is not all that bad. We're going to attach the, the dashboard to the center console. And uh, also with this pack, we received another binder. So fantastic. I've been saving my binders in case I need to go back and reference anything. Plus all the articles that are found within the magazine are well worth, worth the subscription. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this fantastic car today. So let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the magazine for issue 47. And looks like we received more dashboard parts, the steering wheel, steering column, and so forth. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. So we'll be looking at, as far as the table of contents are concerned, drive time, two months in, and a time traveler's guide. So first thing we do is we install all the components for the steering column and dashboard, along with the steering wheel. And we mount all that. To the center console. Then we have a very nice article here on, uh, it's called Two Months In. After eight weeks filming, there was still much to do for part two with Michael J. Fox back in the wig and a location trip for Thomas Wilson. So they get into that. There's two pages of that. And lastly, we have an article on Gray's sports almanac. In 2015 Marty buys a book of sports results that quickly falls into the wrong hands. And of course they give us a preview of our next issue which is a bunch of wiring and cables. So let me get the parts out and we'll get a closer look at the parts. Here's a close-up view of the parts. We received the dashboard base which is made of plastic. We receive the steering wheel, which is metal. The steering column. Steering column lower base and upper base. The bracket. Lever indicator horn and lever wipers. Steering wheel center. FP, BP, and BM screws. Let's get started. We're going to assemble the steering column and dashboard. That's the first four steps. And if you look at the graphics very carefully, you can see it shows what looks like a little windshield wiper symbol right there in the middle. And the other one shows looks like a headlight. So the left side is your, is your uh, lever windshield wiper icon. And the right side would be the horn and indicator. So. We are going to insert those in, just like that, and just like that. And then we'll take our cover itself, and we're going to put that down on top. And 
boxes like that. And we hold this together with uh, BP screws, two of them. Here's one. And two. And that's how that looks. Now I need to bring over the dashboard and we're going to mount the steering column to the dashboard, of course. And that's I'm going to flip the dashboard over and flip this over, obviously. And it's going to mount just like that on the dashboard. We'll be using two FP screws for this. Going in real easy. This is turned out to be very cool. Next we'll put that aside and we'll get our piece we received with this issue for underneath the dash. And we need to turn this over obviously and they want us to put this bracket in that we received with this issue and that's simply going to go right on top just like that two BP screws hold it in place There it is. Let's jump back to the steering column and we'll look at that from above. Very nice how that looks. Now we'll take our dash, we'll turn it back upside down like we had it before. And we're going to install our panel on top of it just like that. Once again using FP screws. I'll leave it loose a little bit until we get them all in. Do the other side here. And one more. Tighten that other one down that I didn't tighten down. That looks 
looks good there. Next we take our steering shaft and it's going to go right in here. There's a hole. all the way through on the other side. And we're going to put our stern wheel on this shaft. Pretty sure when you, when you put it on there needs to be looking like that with the shaft facing down if you can see that the shaft is curved in a down direction and the steering wheel is on that straight just like that we are going to put a BM screw into that it's a lot smaller screw I am going to go ahead and lubricate it with some Vaseline first because we're going into metal There it is. And the last step is we put steering wheel cover on. presses fit in just like that that looks great next we're going to mount this to the center console so we need to turn this over like that take my center console flip it over like that and that inserts into those two holes there and we put two FP screws into this There's one. And there's two. Perfect. And that's all we do for stage 47. This was a blast putting this together. It's really looking very nice. I'm very impressed with this so far. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Also, please uh, comment below. Um, I do answer every comment that's put out there. So, you know, it's, it's worth your while if you have any questions or anything about this build to comment on it. Head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Happy modeling everybody and take care.